Hey, welcome. We're going to do some sausage rolls. I have to say it's kind of mum's recipe and she'll tell me off either way. A um, couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, just sausage mince, buying some sausage mince. You could buy that normal mince, but it's easy sausage mince. Because you can see we've got some pastry there and a kind of whole lot of things we want to put in. You don't have to do the veggies, but I'm going to do some red onion, some zucchini, and we're just going to uh, chop this right up. So red onion, zucchini, carrot, and we're going to put a couple of things in here as well. I've got some sage there as well, a couple of uh, sprigs of sage, and also some coriander. A little splash of our favourite garlic, just to help it out. Oh, I didn't need to put on there. Um, and, and also just some, you don't have to do this, but it kind of helps with that, uh, making sure it's not too dry, because you don't want it dry. So let's just go, I'll use a spoon there. Um, some chutney, okay, this is apparently one of the things that makes my mum's sausage rolls the best. Um, now I've got the oven on uh, around 220, uh, just warming up. They'll take about 15 minutes roughly. Um, and of course the longest part is getting it all together. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Just a little bit of salt, and pepper, just a tiny bit, not too much. Don't overdo it. I've got an egg there too, which we'll use to to base the um, spring rolls once they're done. So let's. Put the, all right, a little bit of that. Again, this is not critical, but it's um, some breadcrumbs. Just make sure you don't put the breadcrumbs. So again, don't put too much in because it'll dry it out. Okay, just a little sprinkle of the breadies. And having this on, that's on. Yep, there we go. There we go. Just crack them out. Now, with these, whilst that's doing that, with these, it's most of those things I like. Just uh, pre cut that. Okay, it makes it a bit easier to get out. Now, I've got two of these, so 500. And depending on the size, I don't know if you can hear that, but depending on the size of, beautiful, depending on the size of how big you want to cut these, um, it'll, it'll make about 80, roughly so. So, just again, another little process, cut the edge out of that, or the end off that. Just makes it a lot easier getting these open. And then just run a little down the there. Okay, so so you could use minced meat, but this is pre-done sausage mince, which uh, gives that awesome flavour. Okay, get in the edge out of that. Clean hands, perfect. Okay. I will clean the hands now. Um, so with that mixture here, you can have a look at that mixture, you can see how nice and moist, okay. Just with a spatula, you want to kind of fold all this in, all that mixture there. So we've got the carrots, got the zucchini, a bit of garlic, and red or white onion, whatever onion you want to do. You could cook that onion first, you could kind of caramelise the onion, but I didn't, so that's okay. All right, now, there's a trick to this as well, which if I didn't do it, mum will get upset that I haven't done it. And that is either a piping bag, if you have a piping bag, or a, some sort of new, uh, some sort of plastic bag, and just take the edge, or oh sorry, just take a, a kind of a, this is going to help with the piping of, it's okay, don't make it too big, that's almost too big, that's okay. Um, and we're going to fill it in there and then put it in uh, with the, I might need another thing rather than that spatula actually, that's not strong enough to hold. So, just mixing that through, okay, getting it all, Kind of even with that. And then we're going to pipe it in kind of a line rather than just rolling it with your hands. It's a lot easier, apparently. I would normally roll it, but that's why they're called sausage rolls. But we're going to do this through a bag, which is a lot quicker. 
a lot easier and probably a lot less messy. Okay. about it. Now I just want to give ourselves a little bit of space here so we can uh, so we can roll these out. Yeah. Now with these, these are obviously thawed. What you want to do is I've got a couple of trays you can see there with some baking paper. Now probably easier to just cut down the middle to even, and what we do is we'll fill there, fill there, roll, okay? Again, using this, let's have a look at the end, yeah, that should be right. We'll make sure it's not too big. And it needs to be a strong enough plastic bag for it to obviously hold, because if it's not, she's going everywhere, okay? Just putting that in. You don't have to do all at once, of course. Well, okay, so let's just, this is literally the sausage roll. And just all the way down to the end, and we're going to roll this over. To the edge, we we'll need a little bit more at that edge. So it didn't start well. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to do the one. I've probably got too much on there. Let's see how we go. There's the roll part of a sausage roll. So, yep, yeah, we've got way too much on there. So, I'm going to take a little bit out. Okay, it's pretty easy to take that chunk out. Because otherwise you're not going to get the um, the pastry to stick. Okay, so again, bring it over. Much better with that. Now we're going to get that egg that I've got there and base that egg. So base the roll with the egg, and then you're going to put a little bit of poppy seeds on it as well and just cut those. So I'll cut those um, after I've done the basing as well. All right, so I'm gonna get this done and then show you the end product. Okay, so I've got the uh, roll, the sausage rolls. Just as mentioned this idea, just with some egg, just basting that there, it'll give it that kind of brown. Uh, while it's cooking, it'll just Really give that nice kind of brown, but also it's going to help hold the uh, the sesame seeds. So sesame seeds, the poppy seeds that we're going to put on top as well. Now I'm going to cut these as well, so um, you don't need to see me cutting those. But I'm just going to quickly with those. We've got a couple of extras there, not all going to fit on. But they will once we give them a cut. We'll move them around as well. So, so just. Don't overdo it, it's not just enough to kind of give that little flavour. Okay, and as I mentioned, when we're doing it, just literally just make them kind of bite sizes. So we'll go through and we'll cut those and uh, we'll put them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200, 220 degrees. 